the manufacturer sells cars everywhere. So they have to pick an oil that can function in extreme cold and in extreme heat. The 5W30 is an overall formulation, right? You get the best of both worlds. You get good startup, good low end, low temperature protection, but you also get very good high end when the engine's warm up protection. 5W30 is an SAE grade, right? It's the way we grade multi viscosity oil. So, best way to explain kinematic viscosity is you have two extremes, right? Cold and hot, or resistant to flow. So the low end is like water. So a zero W would be like water. It has no resistant flow. It, it's very keen to flow anywhere. The high end, like the 30 or, or, or the upper end of the kinematic viscosity, for instance, honey. Honey is more resistant to flow. It's thicker. It doesn't want to flow. It, it takes, takes some effort for it to move. So that's what a kinematic viscosity chart is, a resistance to flow. The W actually stands for winter. That's the way the oil behave at low temperatures and minus 30, 35 degrees, okay? Now, what that means is at that temperature, that oil will flow as a five on the kinematic viscosity chart. And then 30 means once the engine reaches operating condition, it's a 30 weight oil for overall engine durability and protection. For 530, we test at minus 35 uh, for the spec. But uh, for, for Quaker State, we actually test five degrees colder, so we go to minus 40. One of the, our durability guarantee is viscosity retention, right? So when it says 530 in the bottle when you buy it, after a certain amount of miles, and we test it in New York City taxi and let the fleet operator tell us when the oil is, is deemed used up, and we'll go there and measure that viscosity again, so it's still 5W30 grade. So what, what, one of the things we want to guarantee is overall viscosity retention, meaning when you put it in as a 530 and the day you drain it out, it still stays a 5W30.